Creamy garlic chicken is thinly pounded chicken breasts with a decadent cream sauce. It's my family's favorite. Here's how I make it. Have six chicken breasts, then pound to a quarter inch thick. Season with garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Then preheat olive oil in a pan over medium heat and cook the chicken in batches for three minutes per side. Add more olive oil as you need it. Place cooked chicken on a brimmed baking sheet, then once all the chicken is cooked, cook one large diced onion in the drippings for 10 minutes. Once caramelized, add five cloves of minced garlic and cook two more minutes. Then add one cup of chicken stock plus two tablespoons better than bouillon chicken base and cook down for 10 minutes until it gets thick and golden brown. Then add two and a half to three cups of heavy whipping cream, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon ground thyme. Let thicken for 10 minutes before pouring over your chicken and baking at 375 for 15 minutes. It's your keto girl. I can't wait to show you this recipe. These are keto cheesy chicken fritters. They have less than one gram of net carbs per fritter and it only takes 30 minutes. Okay, first you'll take five chicken breasts, cut them up thinly like that, add it to a bowl, then you'll crack open two eggs. You'll add a one-third cup of almond flour, one whole cup of shredded mozzarella cheese for the spicy. I added oregano, parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Okay, now get a skillet, add a little bit of oil, but that's about it. Get an ice cream scooper, roll up your chicken in a ball, dunk them in the pan. Make sure you're cooking on medium to low so it doesn't burn the outside and cooks through evenly. I cook these for about 6 to 8 minutes on each side. Add your favorite keto dipping sauce. I added some Rayo's marinara. And that's it. Trust me, these are delicious. Mouth watering. Please like and follow for more recipes. Cucumber roll ups are a great healthy snack. Peel a cucumber, pat dry, overlap the slices, top with cream cheese, smoked salmon, avocado, chili flakes, salt, and pepper. Carefully roll up. Secure with toothpicks and cut into slices. Here's a full day of what I eat on keto. I start my morning out with coffee, so I just add a little bit of heavy cream, macadamia milk, and then sugar-free syrup. For breakfast, I'm having three eggs and three pieces of bacon. I'm having an almond butter pack for a snack. And then for lunch, I made a chicken, bacon, and egg salad. And then for dinner, I had some keto oatmeal. And then I drink a gallon of water each day.